Here is the truck that took over five dives to get out of Lake Cumberland, but we managed to get it out. Due to the distance the truck was away from the boat ramp and the height from where the water was down, the winch cable wasn't long enough to reach to the truck completely. So we had to take some chains down to the truck and hook to it in order to make the distance. And we didn't have airbags that day, so the truck had got stuck between the bumper and the rock, and which caused the cable to break. Well, it'll be a few more days now, because that winch, some had no cable coming off of it. So, she's right there, busted too. Water. Today we're back here at the, the truck we found over a month ago. Uh, today will be me, Ray Hardwick, and Brian Bishop. We're gonna try to get back in there and put a bag on it this time and see if we can't lift it. The last time the tow truck broke the cable uh, all the way in the truck. So we still got chains hooked to it. Hopefully when we hook that bag to it and lift it, that puts a little bit, it'll come on up out of there. But uh, it's a little chilly today. Water's getting a little cooler. Water temperature's in about mid 50s right now. Uh, stay tuned, let's just see what we can come up with and hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get this truck out of the water today and, and get a better look at it for everybody. This is Ray Hardwick. He's headed down with the first bag. I'm behind him. We're gonna hook the first bag to it and see what happens. After we inflated the first bag, found out it had a hole in it. We went back and got a second bag and this is the second bag. We're taking it down, hook it up. For those of you who are wondering just how dark it is down there, this is how dark. I was holding the light for Ray, but at times I was trying to get situated. There was zero visibility without lights. And that's me up in the corner holding my light and Ray's light. Ray's the one right here hooking the bag up. first bag there, you can see already hooked up there in front of my flashlight. So right here we begin the process of trying to get it up off the bottom and here she comes. So the truck is hung up again on the front. So we want to put a bag on the front of it, kind of lift it up over that rock, just to make sure we clear it, because at this point, it's pretty heavy.
Now once we got the truck to this point, it broke another cable. Robacks couldn't get it up the hill. We had to call in some heavy reinforcements to get it on up the hill. Now here it is in the parking lot waiting on the rollback. 